Hey what's going on guys, my name is Will Fire and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be starting a series on Black Ops 4. So basically today I got the season pass for Black Ops 4. I know it's a bit late, so it's basically two years later. Um, but I haven't actually played many of these maps, or any of these maps for that matter. Obviously I've, I've played Voyage and I've played uh, IX9, uh, but I haven't played Blood of the Dead and any of the rest of the DLC maps. So I thought I'd make a little series about it on my first experiences on these maps and I thought I'd record it for you guys and put it on YouTube so without further ado let's get started so I've decided to go for a pretty basic uh, perk setup and create a class um, I've gone for quick revive electric burst stamina up and dying wishing my brew cola soda and modifier slash tonic spots uh, I've gone for pretty basic elixirs being temporal gift anywhere but here after testing equipment I've gone for the Ragnaroks frags and welling I'm not gonna run a talisman because let's face it who runs a talisman so my first impression is that um, it's really, really different to the original Mob of the Dead. Although I have seen some screenshots and a little bit of gameplay from the map that suggests to me um, it's quite similar in a lot of ways but also different. I think I saw a guide that said knife all but one of the starting zombies. I think this is the door that yeah, leads to the power. And I think there's another one on the um, other side of the map. So if I open this up. Some, I think there's some zombies that are going to come down. Yep. This is quite hectic. This is um, quite hard already. Although we're doing alright to begin with. Famous last words. Okay, that's round one over and we've got quite a few points. Yeah, that's right, we have to open this one. And that's, yeah, the main original spot. It's not there. There's another spawn round here. There we go. It's the first piece of the um, shield. Hell no. Is there anything here just like the original? No. Power is down here. That's for the Hell's Retriever, I know that. There's another shield piece down here, I'm pretty sure, somewhere. Like that. Not there. Is it here? No. There we go. There's meant to be another spawn around here for that, I think. Uh, that's 12.50. He doesn't look friendly. He is very big. I don't have enough. Uh, yeah, this is actually kind of tough already. I guess I just got to take out my Ragnaroks. Yeah, I thought that was a part of the shield. I'm gonna buy this just for security. I think it was 1550. Yeah, that's right. That's a. I don't know what that's a part for, but. I'll grab the vapor. Round three. 
I assume the um, shield build, or well, the building station, is in the same place as it was on mob, but I might be wrong and die. How much is this star? 12.50 again. What gun is that? Uh, ICR. Probably should have got that one, that's probably a bit better. Is there a perk machine up here? Yes, there is. I don't know where these dogs are. And there we go. Max Ammo. Round 4. So those of you who have been watching my videos over the past few weeks, um, I have to I have something really big to say thank you because obviously I am pretty new and there's not a lot. There's quite a small market. Oh, there we go. Um, so if you have been watching, albeit not necessarily regularly, but I still appreciate the support. I'm not sure how many souls you need for this. So. Okay, so we've made it through that round uh, onto the gondolas. Get up there. I think there'll be a, a head again. We'll have to go back to the spawn to get the other one. Recharging, of course. I should have known. Well, it's down here now. I'm, I've probably got time to walk back up. At least we do have a shield, though. That's good. One uh, thing that Black Ops 4 brought, brought in was the fact that you have to pay for a shield if you break it, which I think is, like, not fair at all. Although, they did improve the carpenter, so that if you pick up a carpenter, then it fixes it up. Which I think was quite a good idea, to be fair, because it actually gives you an incentive to get the carpenters after, like, round 5. So my aim is to get the Hell's Retriever, which was on Mob of the Dead, but uh, yeah, I'm not making any promises that you're going to see it today, to be honest, because, well, this is the first time playing, and I'm not that great at this game, specifically. I think this is my strat, though. Up and down. There's quite a few zombies for round 5, I'll tell you that. Oh god, this is actually quite difficult. Hopefully this one's over soon because it's so close quarters. Oh, it's done. Thank God. Okay, so um, we're going to run to the one down here and then I think we'll go back to... Wait, no, there isn't one down here anymore. It's difficult to uh, grasp the situation of it. It's a completely different game and I've never played it before. So it's you sort of think of everything as mob as opposed to blood, but you don't realise they're actually quite different. Like, this whole section is not in mob at all. I wonder if you can just, like, shoot them off or something. That's another feature they should have kept. The bridge. That was one of the most, like, loved parts of Mob of the Dead. And I think the fact that they got rid of it is kind of, like, disrespectful to the community. And I think that's what a lot of people found the flaw with Blood was. It was disrespectful to the original in a few ways. Like, they got rid of Afterlife as well, which was pretty integral to the original. If you haven't noticed already, I've got a new banner on my channel. That was done by uh, Luke, also known as... Uh, I think it's Z Toxicity, Toxi Toxicity. Um, pretty cool guy to be fair. Uh, I was pr very happy with it actually. So if you want anything like that, or are you just intrigued by it, go over to his channel uh, or on his Twitter or follow him or whatever because he was pretty good, pretty good to me. As for somebody that I've only known for a few days really, please be the last one so I can move from here. Because I know the other one's outside, it's at the warden's house, so at least that's sort of a lot more... Oh, thank God. Time to find out if you can shoot off the arms. Oh, well, you can shoot them away, I think. Well, this thing is guaranteed terrible after this round, I'm guessing. Of course, Brutus is here. Oh, no, it's not through there, it's through here. Oh, God, that was not nice. The control is vibrating like hell. Oh, my God. God, he's actually, he actually takes quite a lot. Either that or the Ragnaroks are really bad. Well, there we go, he's done now. And um, this is the Warden's house. Another another area of the map which isn't in mob. Oh my god. I don't know if I get the uh, Hell's Retriever, then I can obtain a Blundergat. I think I'll go for that. I think I meant... Th that's another tutorial I watched. How to get the free Blundergat, but I'll take a look. I think. I think I remember some of them. You can use the shield as well, I think, to figure out where they are, as long as you know the sort of um, halfway locations. If the box is anywhere, I guess we could hit that. I know we'll get the blunder out then, though, even if we've tried to get it beforehand. 
Oh, thank God, it's done. It's through here, I think. I think it's in the warden's house where you go to get it. It might be. Yes. Is it still... Is it through here? I'll go for it. But uh, I'm not all that sure. Yeah, it is. I got it. There we go. There's the first sort of challenge done. I've managed to get the Hell's Retriever. It's R1 this time instead of L1, so that's going to be a bit of a learning curve already. I'm just trying to think now where are the um, where are the pieces? No, the skulls for the Wonder Gap. What? Uh, yeah, the Wonder the Wonder Weapon. The uh, box is over here. I'll hit the box one time. The Escargo. So we're just French snails, basically. I'm not sure how good it is. Yeah, not great. I'm going to do something illegal. I'm going to search it up on Google. Just to see where the skulls are. C to D Street. I'm not entirely sure where that is. I know it's in the prison, though. Yeah, God, this gun is not great. But glad when I've got the blunder gap. For the longest time, I did not know what that power-up did. Because I'd been watching, like, streams, not just on this map, but on other ones like Alpha Omega and stuff. I'd been watching, and then they picked that up, and I'd have no idea what it does, but people just rushed for them. And I was like, what are they doing that for? But, uh, obviously, it fixes up your specialist slot. Which is kind of useful, actually. Inside us. Oh, yes, I know where it is now. There we go, we got the first one. Eagle Plaza. I'm not really sure where that is. But we're going to go for it. I think I've got a vague idea where it might be. One of the stupid things about this map, actually, is the fact that you... Uh, if you get monkeys in the box and trade them out, you actually lose the Hell's Retriever. I think you can get it by, but it's still kind of pointless. It's like, oh, okay. Are we looking in the right place? I think we got it. Then we got the docks. I did spend a long time on the last video, to be fair, it took me a while to cut through it all. I think we recorded about an hour of gameplay, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're cutting that down into a sort of... We well, want a playthrough, you want the actual, like, essence of the map to be captured, as opposed to it just being like a short, oh, look at this, oh yeah, look at that. I think we, I did a good job of it, to be fair, I, I hope I did anyway. Hasn't got that many views at the minute, and I'd appreciate if if you're new to my channel and you're watching this video, if you go back and check that one out. I'll probably put a card up in the corner. I keep pressing the... Yeah, we got it. The West Grounds. I think that's the spawn area. I think this is a lot easier than the Mob of the Dead one because you have the one where it's on the jug location and you have to jump for it, but it's really difficult to get, actually. At least in my experience. West Grounds, here we are. On the stairs on the landing with a door to the right when facing the door. That's pretty vague. There we go, we got it. And the last one is on the roof, so we're going to have to trek all the way up there. I did play 9 earlier, actually, for the first time. I didn't record it, and I, that was probably a better version of the start for this series, but I feel like this is... So oh, my God. I thought this is probably a bit more familiar to people, and people will more want to watch this over 9. Even though 9 is apparently, uh, by community standard, that it's a better map. But I can't really judge, considering... I haven't played through this map fully yet, but I did enjoy 9 quite a lot. I, I like the feel of it. If you want me to play that, not just as part of this series, but more as like a um, a useful sort of, it's on my channel, you can take a look at it if you want. Then put that in the comments and I'll get to it as soon as possible. I'm actually quite enjoying it at the minute, just making the videos and everything involved in it. Oh god, I did not know what to do there, so I just bought that. Is this just a buyable or is it a power? Oh no, it's straight through. On the right hand side. That's oh, there. Right, okay. And we missed. Thought we'll let that reload again. Oh god, oh god, oh god. 
There we go, we got it. I'm sort of getting used to this game still. I think it's decent. I don't think it's near as good as Black Ops 3, but it's difficult to follow something like that. But I think it's it's not as bad as everybody's played it out to be. I do understand the engine complaints. The engine is pretty clunky. At least a lot more than Black Ops 3. And the graphic complaints as well. Um, just on the intro cutscene and then, when, just before this game, I realised that it's quite a bit more... Oh, there we go. Pick up Blundergap. It's quite a bit less graphically impeccable as Black Ops 3 was, but, um, well, I don't think it's quite as bad, and graphics aren't everything, but gameplay is the other aspect. Uh, place Blundercat. I don't want to do that. I don't know what it does. Oh, my God. I think it's one of those upgrades, but Blundercat looks sort of skinnier than the original. I think I'm going to grab some perks. I don't know where to go. I'm really sort of like, I've lost my sense of direction in this game. Purely because of the uh, sort of differing from Mob of the Dead. I don't know whether the doors are open, closed or whatever. I don't really like doing the commentary. The, well, cut commentary live. But uh, I just think this is quite a nice idea for a series. It sort of gets me a bit closer to the audience as opposed to... I'm sort of bouncing off somebody else and you get less of my personality and it sort of spreads out between two. I feel like you can get to know me a lot better than if I was with other people. On a side note, I'm really, really liking the way that the community is going at the minute. I feel like it's really revived and obviously at the time of recording, I don't know by the time of upload, it's um, there's been no news on the new Call of Duty game coming out November, December time. At least that's when people think it is. But uh, by the time this is uploaded, we might know a bit more. But I feel like, at the moment, that hype is going to be carried through absolutely no problem at all. I mean, a lot of the big YouTubers have come back, namely the Smith players. And I feel like more, even myself, for example, we're coming in and sort of making the community a bit bigger and it's expanding, expanding, expanding and the thing that comes with expansion is more fans and it just comes more and more. I really do hope that it like sort of helps revive the community a bit more to be honest because it's just it's just good to see a thriving community. It hasn't felt this way since like Z House 2017 and even then it wasn't at its peak. I think at 2016 that was when it peaked this thing absolutely powerhouses through one zombie. It's not so great. Oh, there we go. Needed that. I'll get my perks and I'll go for pack a punch. I don't think I really want to go for a high round, so um, as it's my first episode in the series, I don't really want it to be a really, really long episode. I, I think 20 minute max is probably a good idea. If I do get to like a, I think we'll go for around 20, and after that, I'll keep the rest off camera and tune back in at the end just to show you how far I actually got. Call it back up. What I thought about doing for this series originally was just to try and do the easter egg on the first attempt, watching quite a few tutorials, but it's quite, it's not as easy as it sounds. I started by watching a tutorial for this and I was just like, you know, that looks really difficult to do on the first try. So I decided to sort of downgrade it to just playing it for the first time. But if you do want to see me try and do the easter egg on some of these maps, even on Black Ops 3 for example, I could stream it or record it and cut it down, which is the way that I'm going to do this. Is that ready? Ah, there we go. The bay looks a lot more choppy in this, I think. I'm, I, I don't know why, but I remember it being quite calm in the original. It probably isn't, but that might just be me. Once I've gained a few more subscribers, guys, I think I'm going to do a, like a Q&A &A or something, so... Hopefully, I get that in the first in the next few weeks. I'm enjoying myself though at the minute making these videos. So we'll get our perks, then we'll get a pack of punch. The map always seems hard the first time you play it, but I feel like afterwards, if I play this anymore, then I'm gonna be actually pretty good at it. It's just the first time you feel really like hectic and sort of condensed into one place because you don't know the map very well. I can't remember where this wall line was. I think it was in the. Um, that's where it was, it was in the hospital wing at the top. 
Hospital Wing, Harry Potter, uh, Infirmary, I think. I don't think it's that bad so far, guys, honestly. I think it's quite a decent map, solid. Um, I know Lex, Mr. T, Lex, if you don't know, um, really, really hates this map. But if the general community consensus is that it's average, but not terrible. It's here, isn't it? Yeah, stamina. I'll grab that. Let's see how the blunder guy does against Brutus. Where's the dog round? I didn't even. Re Why did I buy ammo? That is an annoying thing when you buy ammo and then a dog round comes. I don't really know the training areas on this map to be fair. I think it'll probably be the cafeteria again. I can't really remember where people train on mob, to be honest. Nope. Oh my god. It really white outs your screen. I'm gonna get uh, 5,000 points here and then I'm gonna go to the roof and pop the blunder gap. Just, this thing isn't great, Paps, I'll tell you that. I would get the Acid Gat kit, but I don't know where the last part is. I do think the Pack-A-Punch moves, to be fair. So, it might not be up here. I think the other location is down at the docks. Is it here, is it here? Yes, it is. Oh yeah, I forgot it had dual rounds now. I don't think the new perk system was entirely awful. I think he had the right idea, Jason Blundell being he. Um, yeah, but I've seen somebody else say that people just choose the same perks every time still. I think it was Tim Hansen who said uh, people choose the crutch perks every single time. It's true. Like... Most of the time, people don't differ from the same perks, varying by storyline. Sometimes it's better to pick other ones for certain characters. Like these aren't the perks I run for uh, Chaos. Every single one, actually, apart from Cola, I run in Chaos. I run Victorious Tortoise instead in my modifier slot. Slot. Splot. <laughs> You're a slam. Yeah, I thought that was the end of the round. We'll go three more. I do apologise if the um, face cam is a little bit laggy. Uh, reason being, today is the hottest day in the UK today. Uh, it's it, Well, so far of the year, I think it's like 28 degrees. Which doesn't sound like a lot to some of you Americans who like live in like 40 degree temperature in the summer. But we don't have AC in our houses, so... My PC is under quite a bit of stress at the minute with obviously recording this. Recording the face cam. And obviously a lot of plugins. So if it's a bit shaky or whatever, just <laughs> discount the fact that it's really hot today and there's not many outlets in my room. I've also thought about like doing news videos and stuff. Like, I feel like it's quite relevant at the minute but I just don't want to rehash things but if you guys want to like hear from me that think the way things are going and news about the, the new upcoming games and stuff then just just say it and then I'll make the videos I don't find it hard to make the videos in itself it's a bit time consuming but we are in a worldwide pandemic at the minute so it's it sort of cures the boredom a bit And this thing is so good. Ooh, red screen, red screen, red screen. There we go, round 20. I will leave a little segment just after this uh, with where I get to in the game. But for now, I'm going to stop recording because, well, hard drives. So I'll join you once again. Uh, once again on round 20. I searched up on Google how to do the Magma Gap challenge. Underestimated just how difficult that might be. So, uh, here we are in round 20, and I'm about to die. <laughs> this did not go according to plan. I probably should not have just blindly walked into the challenge, but here we are. All I'm going to say is, roll the outro. Anyway guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and let me know what you think about it in the comments. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.
Goodbye.